Hi friends, how are you doing today? Uh, so, in the last uh, couple of videos, we uh, saw about the cloud uh, infrastructure that covers with uh, compute, storage, network, and database, all those stuffs, right? Um, and uh, in one of my old videos, you could have um, seen about uh, compute, which is important for uh, the cloud infrastructure, right? So, in this video, the next important uh, component on the cloud infrastructure that is called cloud storage okay we are going to see about like what is cloud storage and uh, as an enterprise uh, how do you choose the cloud storage okay also if you are a, a startup company how do you choose the cloud storage okay and what are all the important factors that you should consider while choosing the cloud storage okay so basically when you start with the storage uh, the first thing what you get in your mind is uh, something that you want to store in your home right for example uh, kitchen side we have to have a kind of pantry to store all your uh, kitchen items right and when it comes to garage and you can uh, uh, have a storage area for storing all your uh, tools equipments and bicycle whatever it may be right similarly in the it world storage is needed for storing all your data okay uh, when it comes to uh, enterprise uh, it enterprise um, the storage needs um, are very uh, extensive like in case if you want to store the data and take the backup of the huge data um, and if you want to store the customer uh, information for everything you need a storage right uh, so uh, in legacy world like in case if you want if you, if you are not in any cloud platforms uh, you may need a uh, kind of uh, network storage or you can say like a nas network as a storage and you store all your uh, access uh, records in, in a particular place right when it comes to uh, your mobile uh, suppose if you are using iphone or android and you collect every day the many photos and videos right so where do you store you may have kind of built-in storage there you can store a couple of uh, uh, gbs but in case if it goes beyond that what you do you subscribe to icloud or you, you subscribe to google cloud and uh, buy some storage 200 gb or 300 gb and uh, store all your photos and videos that is also kind of cloud storage only okay um, but in case if you are uh, spinning up uh, a virtual machine in a cloud and uh, if you want to store uh, the data which are produced by those machines and you may buy cloud storage right uh, in uh, aws you can buy s3 cold storage and uh, uh, all those stuff but in case other com compute uh, service providers or uh, cloud service providers you may buy their own uh, defined the cloud storage right uh, ibm has a uh, ibm cloud storage and uh, google has Clo google cloud storage and azure has its own storage right um, all right when it comes to buy a storage all we know is to store some data on the storage area right uh, but it's not that simple uh, if you are buying a storage area uh, you have to think about a lot of factors like uh, accessibility um, availability and um, your uh, cost security and uh, other factors okay so let's see um, what other factors that you have to consider while buying a storage okay so uh, if you are buying a, a cloud storage with any cloud service provider first thing you have to look into is accessibility how easy the cloud storage is accessible whether you have to have uh, um, multiple um, access points or single access point and is it possible for you to access the stored data easily so those factors you have to check next thing is availability um, the stored data right will it be available for any time for any uh, authorized person to access so those availability factor needs to be uh, verified before you buy the cloud storage and the third thing is durability so how durable how uh, your data can stay longer time in the cloud storage 
Uh, so, the value of the data is very, very critical because you are an enterprise or startup company. You are uh, having a very valuable data. By using the data, you can uh, predict, analyze whatever uh, you can do on the data, right? So, so critical. So, you have to check whether the data can be durable while you're storing in the uh, cloud storage, okay? And uh, the fourth component is um, security, and obviously it should be a first component. Um, security of the data is very, very critical, right? Uh, uh, you cannot just put your data on public cloud storage and uh, let others to access, right? That's not, uh, 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 it's a critical, right? So you have to keep the data very secure. So for that, you have to check with your cloud service provider what kind of security mechanism they provide whether it is possible for you to implement your own security on top of the security provided by the cloud service providers, okay? And um, uh, cost, right? You cannot just pay for uh, uh, the storage, how much ever you use. Uh, it, it's very, very, um, it should be very, very cost effective, right? So, if, so say like if a cloud service provider is saying that, okay, you can use this storage for uh, uh, like, you know, for, uh, uh, a dollar for one gig of storage. You cannot just go and buy, right? It's, it's, you have to think about long-term solution. Uh, you can pay for a month, but think about years and years, right? Uh, you have to think about the cost also, okay? So these are all the main factors you have to consider while uh, purchasing a cloud storage with any cloud service provider, okay? And uh, you can, uh, check the cloud service provider's uh, um, cloud storage uh, requirements and also like uh, what are all the specifications that they provide and what is your need, right? So analyze all these things uh, from your end and also collect the information whatever provided by the cloud service providers and make sure that you take, uh, you take this all the um, checklist and make sure that your uh, cloud storage is uh, very, very uh, beneficial and effective for you. Uh, it's not just uh, subscribing uh, like uh, iCloud storage or something and use it, but when it comes to an enterprise or a startup company to use storage, you have to be very, very careful and think about all these um, important factors affecting the cloud storage, okay? Uh, I have uh, provided all these details uh, in my LinkedIn news newsletter all about cloud and also I have provided the link below in this video. You can go through uh, the article and understand um, what are all the factors affecting cloud storage and uh, make a wise decision on your enterprise and startup companies, okay? And uh, if you have any questions, uh, comment below, we'll get back to you. Take care, bye.